Hey guys, and welcome back to our White Tigers Rising series here with Truro City Football Club. We are back, as promised, in the beginning of March here for the away game against Hayes and Yetting, who are down in 18th at the bottom of the table, so desperately in need of, uh, of a victory to help their situation out. Uh, we find ourselves in a similar place. We are in desperate need of a victory to help our situation out. Um, we've sort of dipped down from third to fifth in the league here. Um, we're holding on by two points over Oxford City, but they do have a game in hand, um, which isn't great for us. Uh, hopefully they run into a buzzsaw during that, um, as I'd like to stay in the playoff places uh, here. So um, we're hanging on for all we're worth. Um, so far, it's been a great season, and I would say missing out on the playoffs would be insanely disappointing, but um, not the end of the world, um, but definitely disappointing. So just to recap, um, we played Maidstone and lost 1-0 uh, at home there. That was a rough one. Um, they've been flying in the league. We then played Dorch Dorchester uh, in the FA Trophy third round and beat them 3-1. Um, we then went away to Havant and Waterlooville, and they played a really weird sort of 4-3-3 system that I just could not figure out how to cope with, uh, and be, they beat us 2-1. Um, and then we went back into kind of the shell we like to be in. We we, uh, we drew 1-1 with Ebb's fleet uh, at home, and then we went away and we drew 1-1 with Bishop Stortford. Um, and then we played Alfred Alfredton Town in the FA Cup, or the FA Trophy fourth round, uh, and won two nothing. So we are in the FA Trophy semifinal, um, where we find ourselves facing Macclesfield uh, in a home and away. We are the home leg first. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to live come that one yet, or that 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 series yet, um, or if we get through. I'll definitely live come the FA Trophy final if we figure out how to get through um, this one. Um, but I may not. I may I may live come the second leg. Um, uh, on that one, I, I may do the second leg and then, you know, the Oxford City leg. Uh, and then Whitehawk to finish out. We'll, uh, we'll have to kind of see how the end of the season plays out. But for now, and for today, it's Hayes and Yetting. Um, just a quick, sorry, we'll do league stats here. Um, so just a quick recap. Dean McDonald's currently leading uh, the league scoring for uh, for our squad with 10 in 10. Um uh, Assists, Wright, and Terum Dawkins with six apiece. Um, Jack Calver is five players in the match with Dean McDonald right behind him. Um, Palmers are leading yellow card man at four. We have not gotten any red cards in the league yet. Um, McDonald now is over is the um, is the highest rated player on the squad with a 7.34, and Jack Calver the most consistent with a 7.12 uh, here. So uh, we'll get in on this one. Oh, Martin Rice went down again with a groin, with another torn groin. So I think his time with us is coming to an end. Um, unfortunately, those those injuries have started to come um, thick and fast for him here. So, God, why does it keep doing that? Uh, so I think I think his time is now starting to come to a close. Um, I think we're gonna we're gonna offload some of the non-contract guys. I'm gonna try and get Calver on a contract. Um, you know, Williams has been pretty good for us. I think Wright and Gill we're gonna move on, and we're gonna go we're gonna go looking. Uh, Hill's been good, but not consistent. Um, so I think we're gonna go looking for some strikers uh, again, in uh, and wingers. Carlos Gonzalez I've been reasonably pleased with, and Jamil Roberts I've been pleased with. Um, neither of them are particularly old, so we may, we may hold on to them and see what we can do. Um, but we got some thinking to do depending on where the season finishes, but that is then, and this is now. Um, so we really want to try and leapfrog Sutton United here. Um, so Oxford City is playing Bishop Stortford, a uh, game I would expect them to win. Sutton United is playing Margate. Uh, that's a tougher game, uh, for them. Uh, Welling is playing Canvey Island, a tougher game for them. And Eastbourne Borough is playing Havant and Waterlooville, which should be a tougher game for them. And Maidstone and Whitehawk. Um, eh, Maidstone should win, uh, should beat Whitehawk um, there. So I'm happy so far we've made a distinct improvement on the season. Oops, let me just put this back on. Um, over last season, um, but 
I really want to, I really want to make this happen. Um, yeah, we've had, we've had a really good go of this season. Um, and I would hate to sort of miss out on at least get into the playoffs. I wouldn't be quite so disappointed. You know, obviously it'll hurt if we don't get, uh, if we don't go up. Um, but I won't be so hard done if, if we, uh, if we get the experience, because I, the squad, I think the average age of the squad is only 21. So, um, this is only going to get better uh, for us. Um, I am glad we're breaking in the new goalkeeper here. We may have to look for somebody else um, to kind of help. But um, pick up where they left off last. I'm also thinking about looking at changing up my coaching staff a little bit um, to see if I can get a, a slightly better uh two coaches in there. I'm happy with my scouts, but I'd like to see if I can do something better with the coaching staff uh, for next season. Okay, so on the road against Hayes and Yetting. Here we go. Okay, underway at kickoff. And Dawson's finding the middle. Gonzalez out wide. Uh, ooh, finds McDonald streaking. Carver, Calver coming in. And we drift the shot wide. Nothing particularly uh, interesting there. Nothing particularly interesting out of that one. So we are controlling things a bit, which is what we want. Um, but it is evening out a, a touch here. Uh, they who Maidstone's losing. McDonald. Ooh, Gonzalez finds Dawson. Come on. Calver bounces it off, gets the shot blocked. Watkins recovers it, though, and we're back recycling possession. Uh, end of that mess. Yeah, well, we'll add that to the list of things to do. Okay. Well, we're definitely in control of the show here, which is which is good. We need to, we need to get into this state here where we put in some goals, though. Um, again, we have a definite strike. Uh, we have a definite striker problem. Um, McDonald's been good, but he's he's aging. I've got a couple of real youngsters that I'm looking at that I'm, I'm hopefully going to look to do business in the summer to bring in, um, to uh, to bring into the squad um, that that have some real promise uh, and definitely have some stats I like. The speed and the finishing that we that um, ooh Hill rockets that one in there and just over the bar uh, that should hopefully. Uh, you know, make a big difference to what we're doing uh, up front in there. Because I don't think we have to make major tweaks. I think our biggest problem is just goal scoring is we're not, you know, defensively we're, you know, top top 10 in the league. I think we're at seventh right now um, in the in, in terms of goals conceded, but we're, we're just not, you know, we're just not scoring. Um, you know, not that you can score six goals every game. Um, I mean, I guess you can, but that's not a state that we're in right now, um, but we're we're working really hard for for one uh, McDonald with a good move there. You know we're working really really hard for one a game, um, and two is a pretty big day for us. So I'd like to do something about that because we've got so many draws that we should have been putting away um, that we just haven't been able to put away. Okay, Llewellyn with the throw in. Gives that away cheaply, but back to Calver, who finds McDonald back. To, uh, we've got a guy in the midfield on their side is with a yellow card. So I wonder if we can figure out how to exploit that a little bit. Ooh, Robert streaking down the side. Oh, deep cross in there, but the post hits the post as opposed to anything more meaty. I don't want to get pulled to pieces here, but okay. Well, we're still not doing ourselves many favors. Uh, Wellings beating Canvey Island. Mm, Jamil Roberts picks up a card. He's having a decent game, though. Again, we're struggling up front, but I don't have a lot of options to put in. And, um, you know, because I I really need that speed. I think that makes a huge difference, as you saw, those couple of attacking moves. Um, Calver's having a good game, Watkins. You know what? I think we're going to look... 
know what? We'll leave them on. I don't want to make too I'm not going to make any changes yet. Um, we're going to see if we can encourage the team a little bit here. Get them a little fired up. Uh, see what we can do. And then if we can... If we can kind of get them rolling a little here, that would be that would be huge. Um, and then we'll look to start making some subs. Jamil Roberts, I got to get off by the 60th minute. I I don't want to risk the card. I understand we got a guy on the other side too in the same situation, but I just don't want to. I just don't want to get into that mess. Um, we've had a phenomenal disciplinary record. Oop, Dawson. Um, okay, now we're back in control. We've had a phenomenal disciplinary record this year, and I'd like to keep that up in the league. Come on, you got Robert sitting way out there. Ooh, Hill gets his gets his head on it, but just can't direct it into goal. He's had a few of those sort of screamers coming off the side that have gotten gone in the net, um, which have been really fantastic to watch. Oh, that was stupid. Um, to say the least, they've been fantastic. Um, but some, you know, he, he's really super streaky. Um, just doesn't, with any real consistency, doesn't get the job done. Okay, Roberts gets that. Ooh. Okay, yeah, we're going to move him off. Those kind of things make my heart stop a little bit when they go in crazy like that. Okay, he finds him out there. Can we get a cross in? No. Watkins, back to Calver. Finds Watkins. Can we find something out wide, guys? Just to stretch this mess. Woof. Way offside by Dean there. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's do a little. We'll keep the speed up. We have Dawkins. He's got the speed. We'll make those two changes. And Gonzalez isn't exactly having himself the greatest day in the world. But. Okay. Whew. We're in good shape. We sort of reset that one. Calvert's having a good day. He's been incredible for us. We have to see if we can tie him up. Um, Gonzalez takes that one all by himself. Watkins. Oh, Dawkins snaked through, just could not get it done. Just could not get it done. He's getting all sorts of beat up out there, too. But he keeps playing... I get the feeling if we score, it's going to come through him. <sighs> Shoot, what to do? You know what? He's playing really well. I understand he's beat up, but I get the feeling if we score, it's coming through him. Oop, Dawson gets himself a card. Calver. Dawson. Oh, there we go. Truro City 1, Hazen Yetting nil, And those are some vital, vital three points that we could use here. A rare corner goal for us, just wide open. Gets his head on it, beats the keeper into the corner. Oh, a vital, vital goal and a vital... Ooh, ooh. Hopefully they don't turn into... Uh... Oh, Jesus. Whew. I hate those insta snap back highlights. But sure enough, that goal came through Calver. Dawkins. Oh, there we go. There is two nothing to Truro City. Super sub to room. Dawkins gets in with a tight angle shot here. And again, Calver is Calver to Hill. Hill finds the killer pass, freezes the keeper, and just boof. Cheeky shot right there. And we are. Two goals up with 20 to go. Oh, much better. Much better. This is a huge, this would be a huge, huge three points for us right now. Um, yeah, this is a team we should, by all accounts, beat. Yeah, Oxford City's winning, so we need to keep, this is a huge deal right now for us. Um, oh, come on. Get Watkins, get that ball out of there. Okay, keep pushing them back. I don't mind if they play backwards. <clears throat> oh, damn it. That's Truro City 1, Hazen Yetting. Or Truro City 2, Hazen Yetting 1. That was a good move from, from them. We just got caught. 
out wide, cross that low cross in, and just volley in from Quigley there, and there was nothing we could do about it. We do need to win this game. Boy, a third would be just super fantastic. Um, that was their best opportunity for... Okay, guys, come on. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Ooh, Hill uh, offsides. I'm okay with those. Those waste time. Um, I'm okay with that. That is quite the name. Corner from Calver. Ooh, goes out wide to Greenslade. Can we stop this before it gets started? Uh, no, apparently not. Oh, crap. Come on. Oh, just wide. Oh, I think we're going to sweat for this one. Don't do something stupid. There you go. Or you could do something stupid and, you know, get bailed out. Again, you could keep doing something stupid. Let's let's try not to keep doing the stupid things, guys. Come on. Come on, guys. We really need to hold on to this one. Oof. The wall. It's the Iron Curtain defense this year here in Truro City. Oh, just over the line. We have the absolute Iron Curtain back there. Those guys have finally started to gel. Ooh, Whitehawk has taken Maidstone down 3-2 late in that one. Okay. I'm okay with this result so far here. <laughs> Winning would be dynamite. Um, but this is definitely a little bit of a uh, ooh, sweater. Come on. Ah, lousy pass. Gonzalez has not had a good day today. But, okay. Well, it got whiffed. Beat on that one. Oh, the Iron Curtain comes through again. Hill dancing with Richards there in the midfield. Come on. Oh, Williams. Big Sammy Williams with a huge interception right there. Terrible giveaway. Missed the header. Come on. Oh, over the top. And that should be it for the action of this game. And that it is. Another huge road win. That is Hazen Yetting 1, Truro City 2. Um, that was a really great game for us. Um, those points are huge. Uh, those points are definitely huge. Okay, so we're up in a fourth now. Um, Sutton United is, uh, shoot, so 354. Okay, so that's that's big because that gives us a cushion and keeps us in the playoffs. Um, and we are right on top of Eastbourne, Eastbourne Borough and Welling. Um, and we've had Welling's number um, quite a bit this year. So uh, super pleased with this result, to say the least, super pleased with this particular result. Um, so just a quick look at the schedule. So again, um, if... All else fails, we'll do, and that's a huge number of games. Um, we'll, we'll come back for the Macclesfield second leg if we're in it. Um, eh, you know what? That's a lot. That's just a huge number of games. You know what? We'll come back at St. Albans. If we make it the final for the FA Trophy, we'll do the final instead. We'll, we'll come back and do the final as well in there. Um, but otherwise, we'll do uh, St. Albans in there. Um, so remember, guys, if you like what you're seeing, please leave us a like on the video. Um, you know, Please subscribe to the channel if you want more two times daily content on this one. Um, you know, and if you like what you see, you know, if you got any thoughts or ideas, please feel free to leave a comment for it, and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, and so until next time, guys, bye now.